I got out of work early one Friday evening and decided to drive two hours from San Diego to the Anza Borrego Desert State Park. I went to my favorite secluded campground and was so happy to find that I had the whole place to myself. The days are really short in the winter, with the sun setting around 5 p.m., so by the time I got there and started setting up camp, the sun was already starting to set. Once I set up camp, I built a nice campfire and prepared myself a dinner of spaghetti and vegan sausage, followed by a dessert of s'mores. I fell asleep pretty early that night, but I woke up just in time to watch the sunrise. But it's a beautiful morning. I just woke up, the sun is about to rise. Anyway, I think I'm gonna make some coffee now. I'm gonna make a hot cocoa coffee hybrid to warm me up this morning. It's pretty chilly. I think it dropped a little below 40 last night, which is very manageable for me. That's like my comfort zone. Um, and I slept really well. I've really gotten used to sleeping outside by myself. The noises don't even bother me anymore. <laughs> Some advice I have for people who are afraid to go camping by themselves or go on solo trips is that it really does take time and take some getting used to. I could barely sleep through the night the first few times I went camping because I was uncomfortable or because of all the creature and nature sounds happening throughout the night and also just like paranoia but over time you kind of get used to it and those things stop bothering you and you can kind of think a little bit more clearly the more you do it and less from a place of fear so you just kind of got to get out there and experience it and learn from your experiences let's make some coffee i'm going to use my jet boil to make some coffee today and i'm doing a blend of some trader joe's instant coffee some hot cocoa and some powdered coconut milk. And I got a little fancy today because I have my frother. So it's nice to have little luxuries sometimes when you're camping. And I figured this will totally level up my coffee this morning. A nice hot coffee is such a perfect way to start the morning. This moment right now feels magical. This nice hot coffee, a beautiful sunrise, the first warmth of the day. It's so quiet. This is why I love camping. For moments like these. I definitely consider myself to be a morning person. I love waking up early and enjoying the first quiet moments of the day. So after watching the sunrise and enjoying my coffee, I treated myself to some morning yoga before packing up camp and preparing for the day. My plan is to load up my pack and hike five or so miles to a view of the Badlands, then find a place to camp alone in the backcountry. Let's do this. Technically you can't camp right at Fonts Point, but if you walk far enough away from like the main tourist area, you should be good. So that's my plan for tonight. I'm about a mile and a half in on my walk, although hiking through sand makes it a lot more difficult, but I'm on a good pace right now to make it there before sunset so i'm really looking forward to just relaxing and enjoying the sunset without having to rush to make it to a campsite anyway hike on i'm enjoying it out here the weather's gorgeous the sun feels really nice we got some beautiful mountain views all around and i guess i'm a little bit more than halfway there
Good morning. I am up pretty early this morning. It's just before the sunrise, but I started seeing some peaks of light through my tent, so I decided better get up so I don't miss the sunrise. Anyway, I had a pretty peaceful sleep last night. The only thing I heard was the howls of coyotes. You'd hear one howling and then the like yips of the rest of the pack running to catch up with them. And that happened a few times last night, somewhere in the hills or mountains back over that way. So I always love hearing that. That sound used to scare me the first couple times I heard it because when you're not used to camping, your paranoia tells you that everything's out to get you. But I've gotten over that and now I love that sound. So anyway, let's check out the view that we got this morning. So the sun's gonna rise in a few minutes probably. And here's what we got. Not bad, <laughs> not too shabby. And there's where I slept. I'm starting my five mile hike back to my car. Here we go, it's a beautiful morning. The weather is gorgeous. The sun feels great. I have a lot of energy. I've done this same route a couple of times by myself before, and each time has been just as magical as the first. I don't always have someone to go on these adventures with, and at first, hiking, camping, and backpacking solo can seem scary or intimidating, but with the right preparation and mindset, it can be some of the most memorable experiences you'll have. So, if there's a trip you want to go on but don't have anyone to go with, don't let that hold you back. I encourage you to connect with yourself on a deeper level and take that trip solo. I'm sure you'll be glad you did. I got really lucky with the weather this weekend, and just as I started driving home, I hit lots of rain. But with that rain came an incredible rainbow. Thanks for coming along with me on this adventure, and as always, happy trails.